Welcome back to Further Solutions Academy. For this video, I'll be walking you through on inverse property, which is under binary operation. Oh, I think at the beginning of this video, uh, this series, I started with um, what is called operation and definition of what operation. But on this at this point, I'll be working on an inverse of property, which is going to be the last property on binary operation. Now, this is the definition. And binary operation, an element, an element A as an as an inverse, as an inverse, sorry, inverse, which is this is a way of representing it, a raised to the power minus one. Under the binary operation star, which is atheric, this operates with this equals to E, where E is an what? identity element now there is no way you talk about um inverse operation that you will not carry along your identity elements it's very important it means before you get any inverse operation you must to know the identity and from there you will now get your what the inverse of the operation now look at this this is multiplicative inverse now for instance three multiplied by one all over three it will surely give us one. Now, that is what I'm even a multiplied by one over a is give us a inverse. Now, this one is what is e, this one is what a inverse and multiplied by what? Sorry, oh, three inverse and multiplied by what? Three. Can you see it will give us that is the operation? It means at this point, I'm talking about an operation asteric. Likewise here, you know, that is what we are talking about on binary operation. Don't forget that uh, we are operating with what? Minus, plus, you are playing around with plus, minus, division, and multiplication. Now, um, let me write out some problem so that we'll be able to see and uh, apply it to real life situation. Okay, permit me to write out some problem. Okay. Okay, look at this question. It's a very simple one and a very nice one. I have these two questions to work with and uh, let's see how it will go. Ooh. Now, I think I've explained what is called inverse operation because wherever we are talking about inverse, we must know the identity also before getting our inverse. Now, look at this problem. I have um, A operate with B equals to A plus B. Now, I was told to find the inverse of A. Now, to get the inverse of A, it means A operate with A inverse, it will be equals to what? E. That is what we are talking about. Now, at this junction, I need to get my E. I need to get my E. That would take us to previous video, which is, and um, um, it means E operate with what? E equals to what? E to get identity. Now, at this junction, relate this to what is here. It means A operate with what? E equals to what? A plus E equals to E. A that would be what a plus e equals to a. I think um, my e will be equals to zero. Now e equals to what is zero. Now since my e equals to zero, I cannot say that what my a operate with what a inverse equals to e. What is my e is zero. It means zero equals to a operate with what. E, I mean A inverse, um, which, sorry, permit me to write it this way, which it will be equals to, um, which is going to be A plus what? A inverse equals to what? Zero. Now, permit me to manage this board here. Now, at this junction, I'll be having A plus A inverse equals to zero. Now, my A inverse will be equals to, if I'm not making a mistake, 
uh, 0 minus a. My a inverse will be equals to minus a. That is my inverse. Now, if then inverse of the operation asterisk is what? Minus a. That is my answer. That is my answer. Now, look at this and uh, let's work on this one. This will look a bit, uh, you know, ambiguous and complex. And let's see what we can figure out there. We are looking for what? Now, the first thing you do when it comes to identity, I mean, inverse elements, you find A, operate with your what? A inverse, because you are looking for A, it will be equals to what? E. And mind you, I need to get my E. It means to get my what? To get my identity, which is what? E. Now, how do I get my identity? It means I we have to I have to go by saying that uh, a operate with e equals to a. It means um two a plus two e minus three divided by three equals to a. And divided by two, sorry, divided by that is a mistake I made when I was making the other video. Now two equals to them. Now I have two a plus 2e minus 3 equals to what? Um, 2e. Cross multiply. Now, since I cross multiply, normally this will cancel this. That is what you just need to do. Now, 2e minus 3 equals to 0. 2e equals to 3. Now, my divide both side by 2. This will cancel. e equals to what? Um, 3 all over 2. Now, at this point, this is my what? Identity element. Now, I cannot say that, um, don't forget that my A operate with what? A inverse equals to E. Now, at this junction, it means I cannot say that what? Um, a operate with A inverse will be equals to 2A plus 2a raised to the power minus 1 minus 3 divided by 2 equals to what is my e? This is my e. 2 all over 3. Now, at this junction, I'll be having 2a plus 2a raised to the power e minus 3 divided by 2 equals to 2 all over what? 3. Now, in the law of this the, uh, division, this and this are equal. They can cut themselves. I don't need to stress myself. And mind you, 2a plus 2a raised to the power equals to what? 3 plus 3. Yes, because they are like times. Now, which is uh, 3 plus 3, 3 plus 3 is equals to what? Okay, equals to 6. I will be having 6. Now, at this junction, 2a in minus 2a. Now, which is the Bible side by what? 2 by 2. This will cancel this. My a inverse will be equals to six plus minus sorry, six minus two e divided by two. Now it means I'm saying that I can say that two bracket of three minus a all over two. Two will cancel this. Inverse equals to now my a inverse equals to what three minus a. That is my answer. My a inverse is three minus a and um, that is what we had to work on at this junction and before i hand this part let me quickly explain table on this table i'll be working on i'll be using alphabets i won't use number because of that because the previous video i make the use of um numbers now see this sorry oh permit me to rub the board and write another question there Okay, look at this question. It's a very nice one. The a binary operation star, which is asterisk, is defined is defined as shows in the table. Find the inverse if C under the operation star. If C inverse of of, of sorry of C 
under the operation star A. Now, operation which is A is B is B, C is C, and D is D. Now, I want to solve this problem. Now, how do I solve this problem? Don't forget that it's been declared that what? Find the inverse of C. Inverse of C. It means if I have C operate with what? C inverse, it will be equals to E. That is first thing you are to do. Now, can I get my identity? Now, if I should have what? For instance, C operate with D equals to this. Now, I just need to work on my identity. Now, how do I get my identity? Identity, because I need my identity at this point. Identity elements will be equals to, which is, I'm looking at towards C operate with E equals to what? Equals to C. Now, what can I operate with, with C that will give me C? Now, look at this table. At this point, you have to look at the table one by one. C operate with, it give us this. Now, if we C operate with D, C operate with D equals to what? C. Now, indirectly, C, D is what? Identity, identity elements. Okay. Now, since I know that my C is an identity element, now I will now continue that term. You all know that C operate with C inverse equals to what E. Now my my D is an identity, which is my E equals to D. Take note of that. Now I will now come here. By seeing that um, C operate with D, what will it give us? What will it give us? It will give us what? Um, sorry. Okay, okay, okay. okay, I want to confirm that which is going to be that. Now, um, sorry, I made a mistake here. I made a mistake, sorry. I'm making. Now, let me try to confirm. Confirm before so that confirm that D is identity. Now, D is what identity. Now, if I have what look at this C operate with D, C operate with D, C operate with D, it will be equals to D. Can you see? I just want to confirm what we are to do i'm doing now since i've confirmed i will now say that what i'm talking about c operate with what c inverse and it will give us what it will give us e and don't forget my e is equals to what d now c operate with a number what will it give us d c look at the table i come back to the table c Operate with something and it will give us what? D. Okay, it will give us, D give us B. Look at this. Now, D operate with B, it will be equals to D. B operate with D. I mean, C operate with D. C operate with D, it will give us what? D. Now, can I move on to the next one? Look at me. C operate with what g b it will give us d now therefore b is inverse inverse of c on the table above <laughs> so that we know what you are doing very well that is all about that <laughs> i'll be stopping here due to time and um at this point, I expect you to be able to solve any question on identity. If you still have problem, contact us. At this point, you should solve any question on binary operation. If you are still having problem, contact us. Once again, thanks for watching.